gals and guys, it's Christian Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com. And this time out, we're going to um, we're gonna change this home page because it's a sign-in page for users, right? So if I go to my main URL, um, it just comes up with, with a sign-in page. And once you're signed in, there's your, there's your username. Um, so we want to change that out um, to have a different home page. So I did finish from our last tutorial. I did finish up pages, um, at least the pages I'm going to use for now for this. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in and then you can either put admin in here to get to the admin tools or use or use this. But um, just to show you, you just put in admin and you're in admin. So let's create a, um, a page, a home page. So let's go to content. What I'm going to do is change this. I'm going to edit. Uh, I don't care if people log in to my page or not. Um, that's not important to me. So I'm just going to put um, put login, and then this is login page for now. For now, and then we're going to go over here. Um, all right. So that's going to be that. I'm going to save. All right. So that's the login page now. Now I am going to create a home page. So let's do that. Home. I'm just going to put for now. I don't think I have anything for my home page over here. Let me see what I have, if anything. No, I don't have any writings. I just have um, artwork. OK. If you don't know um, from our last tutorial, this is my old WordPress site that uh, Making Comics was on, and now I'm obviously changing it over to a Drupal site. So I'm just going to put for now, this is homepage. Okay. And provide menu link for it. Just going to put homepage. Menu, same thing as before. I'm not going to change any of this stuff. Okay, that's good. And save. All right. We got two homes. We'll have to get rid of that home. <laughs> All right. So this is the home page that we have. It's node. So make note of this. So normally what I do is just. Um, I just put it on a notepad, especially just a, a tip um, now that I'm thinking about it. If you're writing up content uh, from like Word or Google Google Docs and you don't want it formatted, first I'll do is throw it into a Word doc before I put it into a um, Drupal page. Just a hint that I, because I'm thinking about it right now. All right, so we want to go to configuration because we're going to change this up. And make it our home page. And we want um, basic settings. All right. So, right now, as you see, the default home page is that login. Um, I do not want that. I want um, node seven. So, I'm going to change that. Paste. Ideally, when you start, you do that first off, so it's node one, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. That's um, you can put a slogan in here if you want. We make comics. I mean, I'm gonna change that. It's kind of stupid, but we make just so to show you. Um, yeah, that's the email address I'm gonna use. Okay, so we'll save that as configuration, and then I'm gonna open the site. And there's our homepage. This is our homepage. All right. And now I'm going to get rid of that other homepage. So basically what you do, um, you want to go to appearance, uh, not appearance, sorry, structure. We want to get to menus is what I'm trying to get to. Okay. We want to get to the main menu, edit main menu. And then this is where you can delete out that, um, that other homepage or unenable it. Then I'll move our new home page up and I'll save. So if we come over here and uh, we're back to a page, we will refresh. And then as you see, 
Um, that homepage is, is not there. Why is this starred though? So we want to, why is that starred? That's interesting. Oh, okay. I see what I did here. So it looks like I did a sub menu. So I'll put that there and save it again. All right, and then we'll go back and, and we'll take a look. All right, and then there's our home page there. So if you go like this, then you're making sub menus. So I'll just show you for instance. And then hopefully you won't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> it's like, where the hell is the home page? And then you could do sub menus. And then you can do menus from that. So let's go like this. Let's go like this. Looks like you can keep going. It's pretty crazy. All right. And then if you go like this. And you, oh, okay, maybe the theme doesn't allow it. Sub menus, but you can do one layer sub menu. So we'll just put everything back where it was. Get back there. Get back there. Get back there. Oh, now it doesn't want me to go back. Let me save it. There we go. Just have to grab it the right way. There we go. All right. So that's that. And we'll refresh. And there we go. There's our menus. If you want to talk about blocks, let's talk about blocks. And let's say add a block real quick. Um, to finish up this video. So let's go back to content. Um, let's create a block. And I'll show you where those go. So add a block. And we're just going to do test block feature. You see, I was testing it earlier. Testing this block. Okay, and then again, you can do the same thing as you've done before. You can go into HTML if you want. So you can highlight it, hold it, italicize it. Let's save it. All right, so now we want to go to structure. We want to go to block layout. All right, and then you can decide where you want your block. Um, just for this particular, you can even play around with these, obviously, just for this particular example. Um, Let's place a block. And this is our test block. Let's place that test block. Now, if you want to put it in particular pages, um, just follow this rule down here. So these are the pages you can put um, on here. And just like uh, like node one, node two, node three, just put the place placeholder right there. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to make it easy. I'll do another video on blocks, actually. So this is just. Um, a beginner for that. So let's just put the block there just under the header. Okay, and there's your block. And then obviously, just like the menu items, you can change them if you want. And then um, let's save. Okay, and then once we go back to the site, um, we will refresh it. And there's that block right there. It looks like it squished the menu. Yeah, let's go back. We can play a little bit with it, so to speak. Uh, let's see if we can move it down. Yeah, let's move it down here and see what happens. And we'll save. And it's just like widgets for WordPress. If you're familiar with WordPress, it's just called something. It's called blocks. They all got to call it something else. <laughs> hey, where it is? Where is it? Did I save it? <laughs> Oh, it might be in here. Oh, there it is right there because it's in the menu. Then um, let's see. I want to put it down where there's content. All right, let's put it right there. And we will save. That should give our menu back to, to the way it was. 
Okay, and then there's the block right there. Then you can move it down to where the, the theme allows you to, to put the block. So that is that for that this time out. Uh, Gales and guys, I hope that was helpful for you to set up uh, your main homepage. And next time we will do some articles, set up our homepage and uh, get them on, on the page and so on and so forth. Um, please, um, if this was helpful, please subscribe, please like, please share, hit the bell for updates, and I will catch you next time. Peace.